I've spent countless hours testing over 300 ChatGPT plugins. I found eight plugins that are actually worth your time to use. While some of the other plugins have great ideas on the surface, most of them are either executed poorly from the developer's code or simply doesn't pass the vibe check when they try to connect their math plugin to a language model that sucks at math. This genius created an app called I Am Rich. What does it do? Give us some random image and responds I Am Rich. This developer really changed the game. Unreal. A lot of these companies are rushing to be the first to market without putting in the necessary technical effort to make their plugins functional tools. They're not taking the time to understand how a language model interacts with their API. Why consider the strengths and weaknesses of a language model when they can just take their already existing API for some other purpose? Write a sentence to ChatGPT and give it some data that language models can't process reliably. Then boom, your company has a ChatGPT plugin. Stop it. Get some help. But don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. There are a few gems out there that have managed to create something truly useful. Today, I'm going to be highlighting the 8 best plugins I have found on ChatGPT. There's a category of plugins that I want to talk about first. The ones that access personal data through APIs. What? Bro, what are you talking about? You know, the ones that want to read your emails, peek at your financial data, or take a leisurely stroll through your Google Docs. Well, as much as I love the idea of some unknown team of developers knowing my favorite takeout order or how much I spent on cat toys last month, I'm not exactly thrilled about them having access to my sensitive information. Any plugins that require us to give access to our private data in the cloud will not be making my top 8 list. It's important to know who has access to your data and what they're doing with it. So, while these plugins might have some cool features, I'd recommend thinking twice before you let them into your digital life. If you really wanted to try a plugin that accesses Google Docs, consider setting up a new Google account and only storing documents you are okay with potentially being leaked on some dark web forum for the low, low price of $69.99. Number one on the list of standout plugins is the Video Insights plugin. This plugin is a game changer for anyone who spends a lot of time watching videos online whether for entertainment, education, or research. This plugin is designed to analyze video content so GPT-4 can respond to prompts about the video. This comes in handy in a lot of ways. Maybe I want to use GPT-4 to extract information from the video to answer a question that GPT couldn't with data only up to 2021. I've tested this on multiple videos and it hasn't yet failed to give me accurate responses to my prompts relevant to the specified YouTube video. Another huge value this plugin gives me is analyzing for clickbait. If the title and thumbnail look promising, but it's a 35-minute video, gone are the days of watching through 35 minutes to find out the video was completely different than my expectation. We've all been there, clicking on a video that promises to reveal some earth-shattering secret, only to find out it's just a poorly disguised sales pitch or a rambling vlog with no real substance. Here in my garage, just bought this uh, new Lamborghini here. But you know what I like a lot more than materialistic things? Knowledge, the billionaire Warren Buffett says. Knowledge. With the Video Insights plugin, you can avoid these time-wasting traps and ensure that the videos you watch are actually going to be relevant to your expectations. The second plugin is called, There's an AI for that. Whether you're looking for an AI tool to help with video editing, marketing, or website building, and so many other use cases, there's an AI for that. Can help by giving ChatGPT access to their database of over 5,500 AI tools. One of the limitations of this plugin is that the descriptions for each AI tool are not a detailed analysis. That will not be much of a concern once we discuss the eighth plugin on this list. When we use the two plugins combined, we can easily overcome this limited data for AI tools we are researching. Another limitation is that it will only give us access to the tools in their database. While it is a massive database that is constantly being updated, there is still a chance the AI tool you need won't be found using this tool. Despite these limitations, there's an AI for that is a valuable tool for anyone looking to explore the world of AI. It's a quick and easy way to find AI solutions for a wide range of use cases, making it a great addition to your ChatGPT plugin arsenal. Plugin worth using number three is the Scraper plugin. Like the name suggests, this plugin is a web scraper. The Scraper plugin works by taking a URL that you provide and then extracting all of the text data from the web page. Any of the programmers watching have probably coded their own web scraping program for a specific website. Well, with this plugin, we don't have to write a custom script for each website. Using the power of AI, we auto magically scrape all of the text and let ChatGPT analyze the text for answering our prompt. Once the scraper plugin has extracted the data from a web page, ChatGPT can then process and analyze that data. This means you can ask ChatGPT to summarize an article 
find specific information within a web page or even generate descriptions for a set of images, rather than using Bing or Bard to hopefully find the correct web page to answer my prompt. I can use ChatGPT combined with the Scraper plugin to read any and all links I find on Google relevant to my topic and extract the data I need. Now, as with any tool, the Scraper plugin does have its limitations. It can extract data from web pages that require a login or are behind a paywall. It also can't handle web pages that are heavily reliant on JavaScript for displaying content. But, despite these limitations, the Scraper plugin is still an incredibly powerful tool that can save you a lot of time and effort when gathering data from the internet. Most of the long form text will be in an HTML format that the plugin can easily scrape to feed ChatGPT the data it needs for our prompt. The fourth plugin that I want to talk about is the Photorealistic plugin. This plugin is a mid journey prompt generator. For those of you who aren't familiar with Midjourney, it's the current best AI image generator that turns text prompts into incredible AI-generated art. Midjourney is a game-changing AI tool, but one of the challenges is that you often need to provide dozens of prompts before you get an image that you're looking for. This is where the Photorealistic plugin comes in. The Photorealistic plugin is designed to generate two highly detailed prompts for Midjourney, based on a simple idea that you provide ChatGPT. This means that instead of having to come up with dozens of unique prompts yourself, you can automate some of your prompt variations with AI. Here's how it works. You provide ChatGPT a simple idea for a photo, and the plugin uses that to construct two creative and detailed prompts for mid-journey. But it doesn't stop there. If you want more ideas, you can just ask ChatGPT, and it will keep generating two more professional mid-journey prompts. The plugin not only constructs a highly detailed scene in our prompt, but further details high-end camera specifications to get Midjourney to create extremely realistic images. The fifth plugin is called ML Paper Reader. This plugin is basically a database of scientific research papers on AI. In software development, machine learning papers are responsible for the major breakthroughs that open new doors for coders. These papers are typically very dense and could take up a whole day to fully comprehend the reading material. Not only can ChatGPT digest well over a dozen pages of dense text, but with this plugin, it does so surprisingly fast. Using ML Paper Reader, ChatGPT can find research papers relevant to our topic of interest and read through the many potential pages of a dense research document to use as context for our prompt. We can simply ask ChatGPT to summarize a study or get specific questions answered relevant to the research paper. Basically, this allows us to overcome the 2021 data limitation and give ChatGPT data straight from the source about new technologies being released. If you are interested in machine learning and staying up to date with the latest technological breakthroughs, ML Paper Reader is a great tool to keep in your belt. Plugin number six is called Chat with PDF. Now, this is where things get really exciting. The Chat with PDF plugin takes the capabilities of ChatGPT to a whole new level by allowing it to use any PDF document as a data source for context in our prompts to GPT-4. When you think of PDF document, you probably think cool. It can read a couple pages of PDF for data. In reality, you can feed massive PDF documents with over 100 pages of data. Imagine being able to use entire software documentations, lengthy legal documents, academic textbooks, scientific literature, complete instruction manuals, and more as your data source. With the Chat with PDF plugin, you can do exactly that. As long as the document is in PDF form, this plugin will extract all the text and sort through it to find the data relevant for our prompt. Gone are the days of needing to fine-tune a custom language model on our data. We just need to feed it the new information. In this case, using a plugin and ChatGPT is surprisingly good at comprehending extensive text documents. Plugin number seven on our list is Netlify Drop. We all know ChatGPT can write code to create a website. Now with this plugin, we can write one prompt and ChatGPT returns a link to a deployed website that we can view live. Just ask ChatGPT to use the plugin while having it installed and enabled. Then proceed to explain what you want your website to do. It won't code up a whole backend server for us. It's more of a tool for creating the HTML and CSS template for our website and deploying it for us to visually review. I saved my favorite plugin for last. Plugin number eight is a web crawler that searches Google for relevant data to give us GPT-4 quality responses to recent information. It is called Keymate.ai Search. This plugin can create Google searches from our prompt, select the best links based off metadata on Google like a human would do, then extracts all the text data from multiple links until it feels it found the data for our prompt. 
Once the plugin has multiple web pages of text, it extracts the relevant data. It then sends it back to ChatGPT serving as a dataset of relevant recent information to answer our prompt. Earlier we discussed the Scraper plugin. Now what is a web crawler plugin, and why is it uniquely valuable? While a web scraper plugin works great for extracting data from a specified link, a web crawler can actively search the internet, click links, and extract far more data than just one web page. In other words, web crawlers have scraping ability, but they also take it one step further by automating interacting with the web to find us data without having to know the URL to where our desired data is. This is similar to what Bing AI has attempted, but GPT-4 with Google Search seems to be far outperforming Bing in my experience. OpenAI recently released new GPT API models that can call on programmed functions. This data is obviously not available in ChatGPT's 2021 cutoff, and if I asked it how to use the new API, it would just hallucinate an answer. I asked ChatGPT to use the plugin to figure out how to write a Python script that has a weather API call as a ChatGPT function. On first try, ChatGPT gives me a Python script that not only does what I asked, but serves as an example to help me understand the code syntax behind the new model, without having to have read through the new documentation myself. Now it's time I get back to coding my ChatGPT plugin to tell me what shitcoin to buy the day before Elon Musk buys a million dollars worth for the memes. Set your phone down and drop kick that like button if you made it to the end. This has been AI Austin. I will see everyone subscribed in the next one.